Hi everyone, Natasha here and around my home today. I'm back at home. I'm in the kitchen at the little bench in front of the window. It's kind of gray and gloomy outside and actually I think it's starting to rain, but um, it's Friday, so I'm excited. We made it to the weekend. Let's go ahead and flip open my planner and see what I have on the agenda for today and also cross off what I did yesterday. And we have kind of a simplified day. My husband is not working today, so all three of us are heading out in a little bit to help my dad at his house for some extra cleaning and chores over there. All right, so we did talk about my daughter's birthday plan, and that has given me a new task, which I don't want to forget. Is this the right one? I need to take out these other two markers. I'm not sure why those ended up in my little pouch here. Okay, so let's see, this is the right one. Let me go ahead and just add in my little tick marks for my to-do list. And I just saw the little picture of the car down here and that is to remind me that it is Friday and in the Fly Lady system that is clean out your car, clean out your purse or bags day. So I do need to do that. I skipped the workout, but one thing I need to write down, which I have been forgetting as we've kind of shifted into our summer mode, is we have, so we signed up to do the school food delivery, or not delivery, but we have to pick it up, with our local school district. Um, since we were all shut down for COVID, they were offering, actually during the normal school season, they were doing delivery of school food for the kids, and my daughter liked it and wanted to do it, so we decided to keep doing it. For the summer but now for the summer they're not delivering and we have to pick it up so I'm gonna put a reminder for that that we need to make sure we do that and then um, okay so then my task I want to add so I don't forget is to so we live down the street from a little spa and Last year, one of my daughter's classmates had her little birthday party at the spa. It was super cute and fun. It was just all the girls in her class and they got to get their nails painted and they got their hair braided in a fancy braid and they have a little gazebo outside the gazebo outside the spa. So we had our cake out there and opened presents um, and she loved that, but I don't know that, I need to just call the spa and find out if there's even a chance we can do something like that. It may be a little bit more than we're wanting to spend, so we might just do a little trip to the spa, her and I. She has a gift certificate from her daddy from Christmas for the spa, so maybe she and I will go down for a little extra treatment, and then we could always come back here to our house because we have a pool, so normally for her birthday we do a little pool party with family and a few of her schoolmates. And we might still do that, or we might just keep it small and do her two cousins. She has two girl cousins that are five and six weeks apart in age from her. My two sisters and I were pregnant all about the same time, so that was a pretty fun summer when all those babies were being born. But we may just do those two girls and their moms, my sisters, and we could have some spa time here at our house since I have all my Jordan Essentials products that we can use. So we're working on those plans. I My first step is just to call the spa and find out what options they are offering right now because this would be at the end of this month. Um, I did make her bed last night, put the sheets back on and everything. Today, she needs to make her bed. I did not measure the toilet, so I need to try to do that before we head out this morning. And maybe while we're in town, I could stop by the hardware store and get that. Um, I did fold that load of laundry and put those away. Um, and I did do the windows. I was so proud of myself. I thought, well, just do the ones in the dining room and just do the insides. So that would have been a total of three windows to just clean the inside real quick. And of course, once I started doing it, I had a little show on I was listening to in my earbuds and it was just something light and easy. So. Um, I kept going and I thought, well, I'm going to do the ones in the entryway, like our front door has a glass 
window in a portion of it, so I cleaned that, and of course I thought, well, I might as well clean the outside of that glass. And then I went to the hearth room or the parlor and cleaned those two, or th there's three windows in there as well, I cleaned those. And then I saw some cobwebs and just, you know, stuff stuck to the windows on the outside. So I went outside on the front porch and went ahead and did all the windows I could do. The couple in the dining room that face the pool side have a screen on them and these screens are original to the house too. So they're really old and they're kind of falling apart. And the last time we put them up, um, I don't know if it was my husband or the guy that helped us repair a couple of the windows when we first moved in. But anyway, they're screwed on. So the only way I could clean those, the exterior of those windows is to take the screens off. And I didn't feel like getting tools out and all that. So it might have taken me 20 minutes, but I got the whole front side of the house windows cleaned inside and out as much as I could reach and as much as I could get to, which is good enough for me. So I'm really glad about that. I didn't do the porch fans, and that might be something I could do either today or this weekend yet. Um, I'm trying to remember how I did it last time. I think I did have to get the ladder out, and then I just got a little bucket of some soapy water and an old cleaning cloth. Um, and it wasn't hard, it's just they're tall enough that I do need a little ladder or step stool, which I can get, that's no big deal. All right, and then, so I'm gonna transfer those couple of things. I also called my grandma on the way home and it was so sweet, she was so glad to hear from me and she said when she answered the phone, you must have been reading my mind, I was thinking about you today. And so it was one of those where that thought just kept coming to mind that I should call grandma. And as I was driving home from town, I went ahead and called her and we got to chat while I drove home and a little bit longer while I uh, started making dinner. So that was great, we got a nice visit in. And I also texted my sister to find out about the company she used to do the transfer from VHS to DVD. So that has been done as well. So that was a pretty productive day. Definitely feels good to have a shorter list and to make it a little easier on myself. Um, so I'm gonna actually add the porch fans on my priority list just to see if I can get those done and then let's look back and see so I don't think I'm gonna have time today to do much of this desk work because we're gonna be gone most of the day helping my dad which is great you know it's always nice to help family um, so let's go ahead and just add that to the weekend and we'll just see sometimes you know if we're all sleeping in I love to get up a little bit earlier than everybody else and enjoy my coffee in the quiet and that's usually when I try to get some of my desk work done. So um, I might have time to do that yet. <clears throat> so let's do, let's go back here. We need to process receipts and that's just a matter of confirming they came through and then filing them in my little, I just have a little filing envelope thing that's divided where I put them for our taxes. And then I need to go in and update QuickBooks. So that's just kind of downloading all the info from our banks and processing each of those transactions. A lot of them are auto fill. So as soon as it comes through, you know, if it's a regular recurring expense, it knows what it is, but anything that doesn't know, I just have to choose what option and click okay. Um, I did work a little bit on my email yesterday, but I need to really just finish getting it cleaned up and sorted and emptied out again. And then I would still like to work on the STEP program at some time this weekend. So I'm going to add that because I don't think I'll have time today, but maybe I could do that Saturday. Um, and then the Christmas bullet journal would really be nice to just get started on it. I would feel better. It was so nice when I did it the first year, and I was really glad I did it, I had fun, um, but this year things were just different. So, because uh, I think I worked on it in January in 2019 for the 2018 holiday season, and this year in January, for whatever reason, I think I was starting to work with my friend who does taxes and accounting sooner than I did the year before or something. I don't know, somehow I just felt busier in January and I never got to it, so. And then COVID hit and I've been home with my daughter and things have just been different, so. All right, what's over here that we could work on? So, 
I still haven't done that. I'm going to ask, I'm going to do that. I could text my friend Sarah today and just ask her if we want to plan, uh, plan and play date. So she has a daughter that is a year younger than Adelina. I'm going to put that on my contact list over here too. And she also sells Jordan Essentials with me. She's actually on my team and we've gotten to be such good friends and it works out so well because we can get together and the girls can play and we can talk and brainstorm and you know just have some time to catch up and um, get to <laughs> get to de-stress a little bit and vent if we need to do that. Um, I did not work out this morning. Let's go ahead and do this because uh, today is a rest day in the workout that I'm doing, so it's it's a pretty tough workout three days a week and then you get to rest in between and you're encouraged to just walk, do a nice, not a like high speed walk, just an enjoyable walk every day. So I'll see if I can get that done today. Um, I still need to do my energy routine. I would like to do a load of laundry, but I don't want to start it because we're getting ready to head out, so I'll wait and do that when we get home probably could do a quick swish and swipe in the guest bathroom and daily focus today is cleaning out the car I did fill it up when I was in town the other day so it's just and I actually vacuumed it I could still take a few things out of it I think it's still got a few extra things in there and then uh, cleaning out my purse so I'm gonna add that here just to remind me even if I, um, if we're at my dad's and I'm kind of at a stopping point and don't have anything to work on with him, then I could even just see what's in there and kind of sort and organize and figure out what needs to come out when we get back home. And as far as a declutter today, I don't know. We'll see if I get to that or not. I guess I could add that. Um, I'm gonna put declutter hotspot. I kind of have one in mind. So we'll see if I can get to that, but that would be this evening and I just may not have the energy or the, be <laughs> the ability to focus, so we'll see. All right, so I'm working on that, I'm working on that, I'm working on that. I haven't worked in the basement yet, so let's try to do that maybe on Saturday. I could just do something. I would feel like I'm not falling so far behind and getting overwhelmed. And updating the control journal, I do want to work on that. It's kind of a project, so we'll just have to see if I can get to that this weekend or not. And if I do, I may try to film it and do it as a video with you guys. So if you're like me and you follow the Fly Lady system and you want to just revamp yours, that's kind of what I need to do. Or if you've never done one, then maybe it would be a chance for you to kind of set something up. So. Um, and then these other items I've already got on my list. So yeah, I feel pretty good. I feel like I've kind of touched base with everything. Oh, I could actually put on here that I, yes, I cleaned the exterior windows. I did not clean the exterior lights. Um, so I think I will do that. Let's see, let's go ahead and put clean porch lights. So, whoops, sounds like everybody's ready to go. So I'm gonna have to sign off. So that is my planning for Friday. Thank you so much for joining me this week as we did our planning together. Uh, hopefully that was helpful and enjoyable for you to see how I use my um, Unbound Planner. And as you can see, as the week goes on, it does really fill up. After we sign off, I'm gonna go ahead and do my gratitude real quick so I don't forget that. And I still need to update my daughter's um, little memory keeping book, so I will do that too at some point today. I'll remember it because it's not checked off. So, all right. Thanks again for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoyed this series. And I will look forward to seeing you soon for either my um, Fly Lady control journal clean out or maybe some more decluttering. Either way, I'll be around. So I hope you're doing fine and I'm sending you my love and well wishes and I'll look forward to seeing you then. Bye-bye.